Hey, how you doing, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Big Fog's 4x4 Quick Tip. Today, we're going to be talking about tire air pressure. Now, a lot of people are under the misconception that you set the air pressure on your tires on any vehicle by the sidewall of the tire. That's incorrect. Nowadays, most vehicles have a tire pressure on the inside door jam, either the driver's side or passenger side, somewhere around the vehicle. You may have to look in your owner's manual. They'll give you a recommendation for what tire pressure you should have in your tires. Here you can see that it's the spare tires, 35, rear tires at 35, front tires at 35 PSI. Now on the Chevy Colorado Z02, the Goodyear uh, Duratrac tires say 51 PSI on the sidewall. That would be too much. That's the maximum pressure that the tire can handle. Now you got to remember when hot weather comes and you're driving down the road, the heat inside the tire expands. So if you're set at 35 according to your door jam, it's actually going to be higher as you're driving down the highway. Your best bet is to keep an eye on your tire tread wear. If your tire is wearing too much in the center and more tread on the outside and thinner in the middle, that means your tires are overinflated. So the tire is bulging more rounded, the center of the tire is pushing out and it's wearing more in the center. If you're wearing more on the outsides of the tires and more tread in the middle, so smaller on the outside and thicker, more tread in the middle, means your tire is underinflated so that the tire is actually buckling inward. So this tire actually has a, a cup, cup to it and it's causing the tire to wear more and more surface on the outside of the tire. Now, if you have just wear on one side of the tire or the other, you can have a ball joint or some form of suspension or alignment issue going on. But generally, if you have even wear across the tire, either even wear like this, where it's wearing perfectly with the proper amount of air pressure, but if you have an even wear on this side and this side of the tire, inside and outside, and off in the middle, then you either have an over or an under inflated tire pressure. Well, one way to check this is like right now the tires are dirty. I can put down a, a clean sheet of cardboard, drive over the clean sheet of cardboard and see the tire dirt mark that it leaves behind. If it's leaving a heavier dirt mark in the center and a real light dirt mark on the outside, that means that it's over inflated. And you can adjust your pressure from there to Make sure that you have an even wear across. Now, if you don't obviously have dirty tires like I do, you can go to Walmart or any of the dollar stores, buy some chalk, rub chalk all over the tread of the tire. If you have pavement, you can then drive on the pavement and see how that chalk transfers onto your pavement. If you don't have pavement, if you have a dirt driveway, lay down an old piece of cardboard, a cereal box or something like that. So when you drive over it, you can see the imprint of the chalk on that piece of cardboard. And then you want to keep doing that until you have an even amount of chalk transfer from your tire onto the cardboard. That's especially important when you're running oversized tires above stock. The good starting point is the tire pressure that's on the door. No matter if you're running oversized tires or not. You want to start at the, door, at the manufacturer's tire pressure and then do your chalk test or dirt test and see how that tire is wearing. Tires are expensive and you don't want premature tire wear, especially when you're running large off-road tires or oversized tires. At $250 to $300 a tire, you want them to last as long as possible. Also, it's very important to keep your tires rotated, especially on an off-road tire. That tread is a different compound. They usually don't wear the same as a standard performance street tire or an all-seasonal tire. Have them rotated. Normally, I do mine every oil change. Rotate the tires and check your tire pressures. Always keep everything at manufacturer specifications. Unless you're running off-road tires, and then you have to adjust from there. But your starting point will be right here. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below. And always, God bless.